If you've ever used High Level to build an AI chatbot, things just got a huge upgrade. High Level just released their brand new AI workflow builder into the platform and it is incredible. It takes everything that your AI chatbots could already do and lets you take it way deeper. And the best part is it opens up way more opportunities as you continue to scale or start your own AI agency. So let's go ahead and jump into the High Level platform so you can understand what's new and how to access it so you can start closing clients fast. All right, so let's jump into high level and get started with this. So first things first, we got to turn this on. So in order to turn on the AI flow builder, what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the top left. You're going to select the different sub accounts. I have this blurred just for privacy reasons, but you need to go to your agency view. So we have to go to the lab setting and turn this on. So it's important that you get into the agency view. So you'll see this blue button here. This will take you to the agency view. So let's go ahead and click that now. And now once we're under the agency view, we're going to find settings down here in the bottom left. And once I'm in the settings, I'm going to go over here to the left side, scroll down, and I'm going to find labs. All right, once you're within labs, you're going to see two options here, the agency view and the sub account view. Now with these, you'll see all the different features that high level has coming out really soon. You'll see here it's coming out and it's going to be live in 79 days, 30 days, two days, whatever it might be. So in order to activate the conversational AI flow builder, you're going to come into the sub account view. And let me just move this out of the way. You're going to scroll down here. And what you're going to find is the version three right here, AI flow based builder. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit this button right here that says activate feature. And then when you hit activate, your different sub accounts are going to pop up here. You select the one that you want to implement this into and then hit save. All right, once that's finished, we're going to come back up here to the top left and go back into the sub account that we now activated this for. So now when we go in on the left side here under AI agents, we should see this new ability to create a workflow for conversational AI. Now, if you've built a AI agent before, whether a voice AI agent or a conversational AI agent, the first steps of this is going to be pretty similar to what you've seen before. But in case you've never built out an agent before, what you can go ahead and do is just select conversational AI, you can create bot. And when you do this, Typically, you're only going to see these two options, right? Guided form setup and then prompt based setup. But now, since we activated this new flow builder, you should see this right here, this third op option for flow based builder. And you'll see right now it's actually free until December 31st, 2025. So if you're thinking about starting a business through high level, specifically around AI bots or AI voice agents, this is a golden opportunity to get started now with these advanced features, land some of your first few clients, and then everything will pay for itself. So super excited about this new feature. Feature. So let's go ahead and create a new bot here. And just like before, it's going to be pretty basic stuff, right? We're going to give it a name. We're just going to do test test. You can turn your bot on and off, and then you can select the supported channels. So what's so amazing about high level is you can build these bots out to support your social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, SMS, your live chat on your website, um, or even WhatsApp. So no matter the situation or use case, you can build these bots out for yourself or for the business owners that you are working with. And as you continue to scale your agency. Agency. So down here, we'll go ahead, give this location name, test test once again. <laughs> and then this is the wait time be between responses. So essentially here, typically I do 10 seconds or more, uh, just because if a bot responds insanely fast, right, it doesn't seem very uh, human like or realistic. So yeah, 10, 15, 20 seconds, you can put whatever you want in there. But typically, I always do 10 or more. And then right here, this is maximum messages that a bot can send in a conversation. Typically, I leave this as is at 100. Um, just so there's no use case where this bot is sending 200, 300 messages. Sometimes if a bot uh, ends up, say on like a, your social pages, for instance, like Instagram <laughs> goes up against another bot, uh, they're messaging into you or your, bo your bot's messaging someone and you know they message back, you know, the bots will go forever. So anyway, usually put some type of limit on there. Obviously don't put, you know, two or three or five because people are probably going to have a few more questions than that. But uh, it's pretty rare that it's going to go past 100. And you can even take your data and just kind of understand, hey, how many messages are going back and forth when people are chatting in with us and setting appointments. And then finally, this is really important as well because sometimes business owners will want to take over the conversation themselves. So if you want to send the bot to sleep when a message is manually sent, um, you can have that ability to toggle that on. All right, next, we're going to go into bot training. Again, I'll just briefly go over this in case this is your first time ever building out a Go High Level AI conversational bot. So whenever you build out an AI agent in High Level, you need to load a knowledge base. A knowledge base is just helping the bot learn about the business. So in order to do this, all you got to do is just hit create new right here. It'll go ahead and give it a name. 
Again, we'll just keep calling this test. And then once you give it a name, it's gonna open up this page. You have a few options to load in a knowledge base. You can either do a web crawler or FAQs. Don't worry about tables, that's something coming soon. But with the web crawler, I believe that this is truly the easiest way to do this. So essentially what you can do is you can add a source, do a web crawler, and then load in a URL. Now I have other videos that cover this more in depth, but essentially you could take the business owner's website. A lot of the times business owners will have an FAQ page already, paste this in here, extract the data, and then the bot will be able to be trained on the most commonly asked questions, right? Uh, you know, what's their hours of operation? What type of services do they provide? If they need to cancel or reschedule, what does that look like? So on and so forth. The other hack to this, um, if you need it, because sometimes business owners, they don't have an FAQ page. In onboarding, you can actually send them over a Google Doc, for instance, and then just have them fill out their most commonly asked questions. And then what you can do is you can take that URL and set the settings so it can be shared to anyone, paste that here, extract the data, and it can work just the same. So anyway, a few options there for the knowledge base. Again, I have other videos that go a little bit more in depth with that. Um, but once that's completed, you can select your knowledge base accordingly. Accordingly. So I have tons of knowledge bases loaded in here. I'll just select this one for salons, for instance, and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and hit save and we'll keep moving here. So bot goals. Now this is where the flow builder comes into play uh, because before all you did is you basically prompted the bot and it was very general, right? Like, Hey, what's your, what's your job? And a lot of the times, even the default prompt in here would be like, Hey, you're a, a customer service representative and your job is just to ask questions, right? <laughs> or answer questions, I should say. But with this flow builder, now we can get way more detailed with these conversational AI bots. So let me go ahead and open this up here and let's dive into it. All right. So what's going to happen is it's going to open up this page and this page might be really familiar to you if you have built out automations before, um, because that's what it is. It's it's going to be an automation flow builder or build out for this AI chat bot. So you'll see here, it'll automatically put the trigger in and that trigger will be a chat is initiated. So again, depending on which channels that you selected, whether it was live chat for the website, an SMS message, whatever it might be, that will be there. Now, when you click this plus symbol, what you're going to see is these actions over here are going to be a little bit different versus if you built out a regular automation before within high level. So let's go ahead and quickly go through these so you can get an idea of what has been added in here as you're building out your bot. And then you can take this and make it as complicated as you want and build out the best bots in the world again to go sell to business owners. All right, so let's go ahead and start with number one, which is AI capture information. So essentially what you're gonna go ahead and do here is describe the objective of the bot. So here, I'm gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna say lawn care information gatherer. Sure. <laughs> and then for the objective, what we can do is we can keep this pretty simple, right? Like what do we want this bot to accomplish? Um, so maybe I'll put in understand what lawn care services the client needs and book a consultation. And there we go. All right, once we've described the objective, let's scroll down here. We are going to update the contact field. So essentially as this bot is gathering information, what fields do we want this to update within the contacts uh, information, you know, saved information within the CRM. So if I just drop this down here, you'll see here, there's a bunch of preset, you know, business name, street address, name, first name, full name, email, whatever it might be, but you can put in custom fields in here, right? So if there's a custom field that you need that Go High Level doesn't already have, you can go ahead and put that in accordingly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just say, first name. Sure. Why not? For additional instructions here, right? What, what does else does this bot need to know? Right? So maybe we just say, um, you know, they could be looking for additional services outside of lawn mowing, like snow removal. Sure. Starting to get cold. It's winter time, right? <laughs> what else do we want this bot to know? And then a response example, right? What, what is it? What is the customer going to sound like? Right? What, what, what should the bot look for when it comes to um, different questions that they're being asked or, or uh, people that are chatting in to, to get more information around services. So for example, I could just put in something simple here. Um, hello, I would like to learn more about what services offer and how much they cost, right? Pretty general question, right? Someone's chatting in, what services do you offer? Do you just do lawn mowing? Do you also uh, do weed whacking, trimming, weeding, cleaning out flower beds, like whatever it might be. So what is that example message going to look like down here? Um, this is important, right? If people are coming in from a form that they filled out, for instance, so say they went to your, your website, they filled out a form and we already have a piece of information that this bot would typically gather. You can go ahead and just say, Hey, skip this objective. If it's, if it's already filled out, if someone already put on the form, Hey, 
drop down. I particularly want my lawn mode and nothing else, right? <laughs> Don't have it ask more questions that it doesn't need. And then finally, maximum attempts. Um, how many times do we want this bot to 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 try to get a hold of them, reach out to them, chat back and forth with them, whatever it might be? Uh, essentially, <laughs> how many messages do you want to send? Obviously, we don't want to be insanely annoying with this. So you keep the max attempts as five. That's typically what, what I do with any bot that I build out. Um, and then once that is done, you can go ahead and hit save action here. All right, so let's go ahead and keep moving here. After we capture their information, we can go ahead and hit book appointment right here. Now under this, once again, you'll give it an action name. I'll just leave it as book appointment, but you want to give it details on, you know, hey, what are you trying to accomplish, right? Because getting the customer to book an appointment, that's it's kind of broad. So for this example, for instance, I would probably say something along, along the lines of get the customer to book a consultation with one of our lawn care specialists. And there you go. Um, so I'll go ahead and put this here. And then a really exciting update that was announced at the high level summit uh, pretty recently was before, if you've ever built a conversational AI chatbot out, um, you could only select one calendar at a time. But with this new uh, flow builder, you're going to actually eventually see the ability to book on multiple calendars. Um, so right here, you'll see I can drop down. I'll just hit this test calendar that I have in this sub account. But what would be really cool, I remember when I when I did a previous video on this before this flow builder was out, someone asked me, they were like, what if I want to do this for a dental clinic, right? And that dental clinic has you know, four different dentists that are working there. How can the bot be smart enough to hook this back to, um, connect this back to the calendars for that, for that dentist? Well, that is going to be coming very soon within this as well. So very, very exciting things on the horizon when it comes to the conversational AI flow builder here. So let's go ahead and save this action and we'll keep moving here. Hey, real quick, if you're finding this video helpful, I actually have additional resources down below in the description to help you start your agency from ground zero. We have a free course, a free community, and even a free trial that you can start on the high level platform. And when you do that, you actually get all my bonuses to help you have a much quicker start in the platform than what I had in the beginning. So feel free to check those out. I hope you find them helpful. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so you'll notice here, once we prompted the bot to book an appointment, it's gonna branch out into two different categories, appointment not booked and appointment booked. So let's go ahead and go under the appointment booked category and go to the next thing on our list here, which is ending the conversation. So for this example, let's say, you know, lawn care company, the bot books an appointment with this customer. What we can go ahead and do here is we can give a custom message to, to end this off. So maybe we say something along the lines of like, thanks so much for booking. We will send over a confirmation text a day before, right? Just as an example. Um, and then from here, you can either turn the bot off after that end message, you can reactivate the bot um, if needed. In this use case, I'd probably turn it off after that point. Um, but say the appointment was not booked and you wanted to reactivate the bot uh, to follow up with the leads, you're able to do so. So we'll go ahead, turn this off here. We'll save action and we'll keep moving. All right, so let's go ahead and keep moving here and talk about the next category, which is the AI splitter. So the AI splitter is essentially an if else statement. So for this particular example, let's say that we want to determine if this a uh, prospect is currently with another lawn care company, right? So we basically need to see, do we need to beat their pricing right now? Or is this a brand new customer um, that's never used lawn care services before? So I'll go ahead and just put in a description here. Um, so I will say something along the lines of discover whether or not this is the first time they've worked with a lawn care company or if they already have someone they work with. All right, there we go. Now down here, I can go ahead and put in different branches. So I can add a branch here and I can say, okay, uh, yes, they work with one or say, no, they don't, <laughs> right? Uh, obviously you can make this a little bit more detailed as you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and save action there and you will see it now splits it up, right? So yes, they work with one, no, they don't, or no condition is met. So now depending on what the bot discovers, we can take them down different paths to guide that conversation appropriately, right? So say they are already spending money with a lawn care provider. Maybe we wanna ask questions about, you know, what are they currently spending? What type of prices are they expecting? Um, no, they don't, right? Hey, what services are you needing done, right? Or, you know, is it just lawn mowing? Is it trimming? Is it edging? Like, what is it, right? Um, so we can have the bot. All right, now you'll see once this is all split up, right? Yes, they have one that works for them already. No, they don't, or no condition 
conditions met. So what's really cool about this is now I can take this and guide the conversation in the appropriate manner based off of the answers that they're giving me along the way. Um, so say they, they say, yes, we do work with one currently. Maybe we want to take that conversation. We want to more guide it around. Okay, great. You know, what services do they currently provide to you? What are you currently spending? So as our um, service provider is going out there to give a bid and to do a lawn care consultation, we kind of know what we're walking into already to understand how we're going to win this job. Or maybe they say, no, they don't. And we just ask more general questions around, okay, great. No worries at all. This is what the process typically looks like. What, you know, are you looking to, to have done in regards to our services? You know, what questions can we answer? And again, just maybe keep it more general. So again, you can get a lot more specific with this. This is more just a general overview to show you how this works, but hopefully you can start seeing that picture of how powerful this can be. So to show you exactly what those follow-up messages would look like, let's just pretend here they the bot determines, yes, they work with a lawn care provider already. What you can do next is you can actually put in an AI message after the split. So with this message, I wanna point something out, right? This says, enter the prompt for the message. So don't go in here and just uh, put in exactly what you want the bot to say, because every conversation is gonna be different. But say they say yes to this, all right, what do we want that follow-up to look like depending on how the conversation is going? So maybe if they say yes, we say, okay, great, uh, let's see have the contact tell you uh, what services they currently have and how much they are paying. So we can give a competitive quote. Can't spell today. Um, anyway, <laughs> but hopefully you get the idea here, right? And who knows, maybe you don't want to have them share the pricing. Maybe they're going to lowball you, whatever it might be. But again, we're just painting the picture here. So once that's done, um, we can either a, select, wait for the contact to reply, or B, we can turn this off. Typically, I keep this on, right? Because I want the contact to actually give me information before I send that next message. But I can go ahead and hit save action here. And now you'll see, let's just go ahead and quickly review what we've built so far, right? So the chat was initiated. We are gathering information. We then prompt the bot to book appointment. And now we're building out the splitter to essentially, based off of the way that they're answering, we're going to guide this conversation in a different direction. All right, so let's go ahead and keep chugging along here. So after the AI message, the next part is custom message. This is pretty stupid simple, right? Essentially the difference between these, the AI message, you are giving it a prompt, so it's more general based. How do you want it to guide the conversation? The custom message is this is exactly what it's gonna say. And once again, I'll just put in test just for time's sake here. Uh, you'll see this button right here for wait for the contact to reply. Again, I usually keep this on because I don't want the bot to keep messaging them uh, before they respond back to me because it just, I don't know, it doesn't look right, it doesn't look proper. So we'll go ahead and save that here. All right, now after the custom message is transferring bots. And this is pretty incredible. So I'll paint a picture here so you can get a use case for this. So say you had one bot built out that has all the knowledge for your lawn care services. So lawn mowing, leaf blowing, whatever it might be. But maybe you offer snow removal or maybe it's crazy and you're a home service based business and you do lawn care and pool cleaning, like whatever it might be, right? You can actually transfer it in between bots. So say a conversation went down a certain route and the bot determines, oh, hey, they're interested in snow removal or our pool cleaning services. Let's go ahead and get them transferred to another individual. So just like on a real phone call or a real live chat, you know, hey, we're gonna transfer you over to Jessica. Jessica is actually the one who's in charge of booking for our pool cleaning appointments. So let's go ahead and get you over to her. So we'll save that action there. And how cool is that, right? Now they're with the bot that is trained on that specific subset of knowledge and they're good to go. So again, you can build this into one, you can split up the bots, just kind of depending on how complicated that you want to get with it, but that will now be a new ability within the high level AI flow builder. All right, now the final piece to the AI side of this is the continuing conversation. So just like a use case for this, say someone wanted to come back in and um, change their appointment around, they had additional questions, like whatever it might be. What you can do is you can actually just put an another prompt to basically say, hey, feel free to continue the conversation here with this prospect. Um, so we'll just say, continue to get information about our services and help them with appointment booking. All right, again, pretty basic prompt. We'll go ahead and save action there, but it will have the ability to continue those conversations accordingly. Now, everything else after that um, is essentially things that were already within the high-level platform, right? So you'll see things like adding tags, a wait step, whatever it might be there. But for the Flow Builder AI features, those are the main aspects that are now enabled in the platform. So really, really powerful tool and really exciting things on the horizon when it comes to high level continuing to enhance 
their AI bots, both on the voice AI side and the conversational AI side. All right, I hope you found that helpful and I hope it paints a picture of how much more powerful that these AI chatbots are getting within the high-level platform. This is such a great opportunity to hop on the train before something becomes way too saturated. So I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can actually make real money using AI. Now, if you want to get started with high level, you can actually click the link in the description to start a free trial. Anyone who signs up using that link, I actually send over my snapshot that includes all my automations, my templates, and all these different AI agents that I've already built out in the high level platform, again, to give you a much quicker start than what I had in the beginning. So feel free to use them, tweak them, make them your own as you continue to scale your own online business. And finally, as always, because we give all this content away for free, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment on the video if you have any questions, and feel free to subscribe as it really does help the channel out. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.